Good, happy Friday morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Police preparing for the 14th Drug Take Back Day. New Hampshire officials are preparing for another Drug Take Back Day event in a little more than a week. And the local head of the Drug Enforcement Agency said the event is most crucial one yet. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9 as well. Now you can have everything. And your family can too. We want a juice box. The 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander with standard third row seating. One of America's safest crossovers. This month at Loving Mitsubishi leased the 2017 Seven Passenger Outlander, a 2017 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus for only $269 a month. Loving Mitsubishi, cars you love from people you trust. For years, communities across the country have been hosting drug take-back days. But the head of Manchester's DEA office says, in light of the opioid crisis, this year is critical. We want to get this stuff safely disposed. Safely not just for the environment, but, but safely out of the hands of somebody that might do something wrong with it. Agent John Delina says prescription medication often leads to drug addiction, especially in young people. You don't want to be that parent that finds out that you know your child started with prescription medication that you had laying around. You also don't want to be the parent that, that a friend of your child was rifling through your medicine cabinet. Drug Take Back Day is a safe way to get unused drugs out of homes. It's very important. Uh, I think last year we took over 15,000 uh, pounds of drugs out of people's medicine cabinets. And something new this time, Manchester Fire will be helping elderly people who want to get rid of unwanted drugs. We'll uh, help you out if you're uh, elderly or disabled. We'll actually come and pick up the, uh, the medication at your home um, if you can't get down to the drug take back event. And Agent Delina says drug take back day lets anyone help fight the opioid crisis. It has to hit you when you're finding out that 150 Americans are dying every single day from a drug overdose. You know, now they're talking about 65,000 people around the country are going to die. This is everybody's opportunity. If you don't have this problem in your own family, if you don't have it directly related to you, you can be part of the solution. Drug Take Back Day is October 28th from 10 until 2. You can get a full list of drop-off locations on our website, WMUR.com. Okay, and there you go on that report. And that does it for my news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.